Oh, okay. Brother is recording already. Okay, all right. Thank, thank you, Brother Lea. Um, so, like I said, we have two indicators. That is loyalty and bonus usage, you know. So those are the two things that we are going to use in assigning this course. And like I said yesterday, we are all going to look at it, you know, together. Like, like, like I said, someone sent it um, to me, you know, you know, a friend in, back in Nigeria, back at home. And I think, you know, I changed the, the name. It wasn't Mango. I think it was Ninja or something that was there. You know, I just, I just changed it to Mango and... You know, we look at it together and so we we'll just so the same thing we the same process we went through. You know, that's you know, the same process I just want us to, to take us through and we all see, you know, it was just our ideas, you know, our thoughts. So our thoughts might be different from the thoughts we we are going to have here in it's a different class entirely. So that's why I say we are all going to look at it together and look at a way to to really solve it, you know. So um, you still have to go to the data set. Now, I hope we've all understood the, the requirements, you know, for we are looking at data purchased, you know, and bonus not used. You know, data purchased and bonus not used. Uh, those, you know, those are focal points, you know. So, um, let me share the data set. Sorry, I'm I'm talking so weak since I'm a bit tired, you know, but I'm gonna push through, you know. So um we have this already now. This is the primary city. I'm assuming this is the city where the you know it's an assumption, it's already given here. It's an assumption. So it's already stated here that the primary city, you know, each column has been explained represent the city where the customers reside, you know? So it's this way, this city where they reside, and this is the account number. Normally each line, you know, each phone, or each account, you know, has a number, that's account number, and the customer type, we have to type, we have the retail and corporate, I guess. There is the data subscribed. Now this data, this is the data, this is the quantity, I mean the volume. In gigabytes, you know, that the data, uh, the volume of data the subscriber, you know, bought or per time, you know, and this is the bonus used. This data bonus, you no, know, uh, the uh, bonus were given to the customers, and this is the uh, amount of bonus, you know, this is the volume of bonus used, and sorry, this is the bonus given rather. Data bonus given, and this is the bonus, this is the bonus used, and this is the year and the month in view, you know, for this in for each transaction, you know, this is the year, uh, this is the year and the month it you know, it took place. So, and if we just there is something, you know, we are looking at a six month period. So I'll be expecting that each transaction should cover. A period of six months, you know, that's what our expectation would first be, you know, analyzing the data because they said, you uh, know, uh, this is, I think it's always stated there, okay, bonus used is the amount of the free internet used by the customer at a particular time in a month. And this is uh, the year YM represents the month in the year of transaction covering a six month period. So this, uh, and if you look at the requirements also, there's always reference to six months, you know, or oh, how many times did the person not use bonus in six months? You know, this is five out of six months. So there is, there, so we already have it at the back of our mind that the reference is um, six months. So we are going to be, so we just need to go and check the data and see, okay, so that means, I'm expecting that I should see the transaction for this customer, you know. This account number is supposed to be unique, you know, for uh, for every customer. So it's unique to every customer, I mean. So um, this one zero, I'll just call it one zero zero one because I wouldn't, it's not convenient to call all the number of digits. When I say one zero zero one, so let's just understand that I'm referring to this. So for this one zero zero one, 
uh, I should see it like how many times now here? I think looking at the count, six times, you know, that means, uh, let's just study the date a bit, you know. I can see August, October, July, November, December for this 1001, you know. Is this a period of six months? August, one, two, three, four, five, six. So August, so there's July, okay. July, August, September, September, October, November, and December. Okay, this is six months. And for 1002 as well, I think this, this covers, let's look at this, I mean, what was the count of this? Okay, let me just select this covers a period of six months, you know, six months as well. But we can't be counting, you know, the data set is long, you know. We can't be doing this for every customer, you know. We can't be, this is manual labor, if I can put it that way. We can't be checking, okay, for each customer, is this six months, just so we are certain that, okay, do we have customers, you know, that or account numbers that have transactions um, beyond six months or, or oh, that is not exactly six months, you know, just to ascertain. And that's why um, oh, there is a formula we can use, an Excel function that we can actually use to check, you know. We just do a, a rough check by ourselves to see, okay, for each account number, you know, how many times does it occur, you know. If this occurs six times, that means like this 1001, if it occurs six times, that means uh, there are six transactions, you know? So let's see if there is any account number that is occurring more than six times. So that is what we can use to know. So just to, to carry everyone along, who, who has an idea of what exam function we can use to confirm um, how many times each of these account number of course, yeah, you know, so we are like I said, we are all doing it together. These are just binary checks. We need to just you no know, rough checks, you know. That should be count. Count. Thank you. So we can just use a count. We count how many times this occurs here, you know. So uh, I will just a criteria. So you know we have. Uh, okay, let me just don't let me complicate it. Let's just go to count. That's it. Count and its numbers, you know. So we can safely use count since they are we are counting numbers, you know. So count now value. No, it's not. It's not count. Sorry, it's not count. It's not. It's count if. You want to count if this is here. Do you understand? You want to count if this is here. Count is. We want to count everything here. That's the difference. Count. Okay, let, let me show you the difference. Count. If I count this now, I'm counting everything here. Do you understand? If I do like this, tell me there are nine. Tell me I selected nine, nine, nine items. If I select just two items now, it goes to count. So we we'll know the difference. If I do like this, now I've selected just three items now, right? If I close it and say, okay, count, it show me three. Count is telling me, is you counting how many rows I've selected. But you want to count how, count if means, count if this is here, you know? Now, count if A is here. Count if this number is here. It will now tell you how, how many times that number appears in that selection. So let, let's let's see let's let's see and let's let's try and let's see equals to count if count if there is a range in this range this is the range now instead of, you can just do this it's rather than select everything I think there's a shortcut rather than do like this just you can select let me go back count if this is the range have you just select this column header like this. Make sure you select the alphabet. So that's the range. Everything in B. It means everything in B, in column B. That is B to B. That's what it means. 
if you have that as your range, you know, follow it with a comma. What do you want to count in this range? Let's count each of the numbers. I've selected this one now. That means in this range, look at this number, count how many times it appears in this range. Then go to the next line because I'm not going to lock it. I'm not going to lock that B2. That means it will go to B3 for the next row. Check it, count how many times that number appears in that range. Then it will go on and on until it gets to the last item in the column. So I'll just, there's no comma at the end of after criteria. It's just close it. So just, I'm just close it and, so I'm just closing it and that's it. Once I put enter, fine. It's telling me that 1001 appears six times in this selection. So if I just select, drag everything down, Uh, there's a way I should have used control shift down. Don't mind me. This is an archaic. Ah, I can't, I can't do this. Let me just use the, I should have used control shift down. I think that's the way control shift. If I'm right down. Ah, okay. It did not finish it. Oh. Is it not just a double click? I should have double clicked on it. Oh. Let me go back. I think it's double click on here. You just click here and double click on this place. Ah, uh, you know, it's not working though. Yeah, because there's a space between that data. There's a space, Abby. There's that H. H, which H, please? Show no, me. there's a space, that column H. Yeah. If you are putting there to double click. Yeah. double click. Oh, okay, fine. So let's let's just use that column H. Thank you, sir. Let's use the column H. Check equals to count if this is the range, comma, and this is what we are counting. Close it. Fantabulous. I think it's taking time because it's long. I want to assume. And my, and my system is slow as well. Yeah. You didn't just double click. Yes, I just double click no the arrow underneath. There is this no arrow now. There is this plus sign. Just you know, just there was a just here. I double click some somewhere here, you know. So you just you know applied everything, the whole formula. Fantastic. Okay, good. So this is it now. So this is saying that each, so we know how many times each of the accounts appear now. You know, it's telling us 1,001 appear six times. So let's see if there are account numbers that occur more than six times. So let's- uh, Six times, Mr. Sorry. Gide, Please go on. How, how do we know which one of these account number this number is referring to? Because on your column B, we have uh, maybe one million and one. Sorry, I, oh, I, I can't hear you clearly, okay. Mr. Okay. okay, I said, how do we know? Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. How do we know which one of this count is being referring to on the column B? Because, for example, on that column B, you can see that the first uh, four numbers there, they are the same thing. Okay. okay, and then um, so does does it mean that this is this um each each uh, uh the, the row two for example uh the number six is referring to um uh, that um that account number in row two but it's the same account number that appears in row three as well so he's saying six again is that is that what you're saying? Because uh, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. You, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes. Now, what we, uh, what we actually want to find out is how many times each account number, you know, appears in this column. Now, 
this number is same as this number, same as this number, same as this number, you know? What we are interested here now is the account number itself. You can see that this number is repeated. Now, that means for account number one zero, okay, let me just, for account number, let me copy this, control C, control V. For account number one zero zero one, right? It means it's it's appearing six times. That's the message we can get from here. Because one zero zero one is six there. Okay. Since it's the same one zero one, it will check the number. That number is it the same number? It will run through and count how many times this number is appearing in this list. It will count one, two, three, four, five, six. It will put six here. It will come here. Check this number. How many times is it occurring in this row? It will count again. It will start from the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six. It will put six here. You understand? Okay. So Okay, so the number in front of, uh, yeah, the number on 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 in column H just represent the number um, is counting what is on that row. Exactly. Okay. How many times is each number occurring in that column? Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay, so do you just that one zero zero one is one. Sorry, sorry, Mister Jide. Please go ahead. It's an observation. If you look at Lagos, which is one zero zero two. Okay. It's it's returning six. Yes. And I think it should be more than six. Okay. Why do you? Oh, think okay. No. Sorry. Good? Okay. 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 Sorry. I think I've seen it. There's one o three four. Okay. 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 I understand now. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So one zero zero two two is one zero zero whatever two is six now. So that's all you want to know. You want to know how many times each of these number you know appears in that column. So let's now see if there are account numbers that are occurring more than more than uh, six times. So let's just come here. Let's filter here as well. Let's include here in the filter. Okay, fine. So that that would be if uh if uh, the number is uh, the column is greater than six. Yes, yes. If the value, if any the value, value is more than, than yeah, six, greater than six. Okay. Yeah, that okay. means we have. You, that means we have early? columns actually occurring more than six times. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I want to select them now. Seven. We even have more. We have some occurring eighteen times. Some account numbers. So let's select the one occurring for. Let's select for 18, for instance, and see what was happening there. You know, let's let's select, on select everything. Let's select 18 and see what's happening there. Let's see which account number is occurring 18 times because we are expecting data for six months. Ah, sorry, someone just, my son just broke the plate. You've broken the plate, right? Good. Shower up the Good back. Go on, go on with your slippers. Sorry, my system is quite slow. Go, go, go and go there to come pick the broom and sweep it. Wow. This system now, wow. You're just trying to... Okay, let's just give it a little time. Oh. How many thousands of data we have in there? <laughs> it's not thousands. So it's more here. Yeah, about 60,000 something. 60,000. 60, yeah, yeah. So I think it's my system. I have... Oh. It's, it's slow. Okay, let, let, let me check the let me check task manager and see my usage. I'm sure it's hundred percent. It's can, can you see processor usage hundred percent? Okay, issue. I want square server to Uh, okay, it's coming down now. Okay, okay, good. I think it's fine. We have it now. Wait, wait, I think the the thing froze. That go freeze now. We have 18 now. We have this account number. We have this account number 100027 now. You know, I think um, we even have two account numbers occurring 
18 times. 18 times. Hmm? Oh, look at this. Let's see. You know, we are we, we are looking at July to, to September. That means, let's look at July here. What's happening here for this account number? 10027. What's happening here? Why do we have 18 transactions? You know? That means in July, there are two Julys there, right? First of July. Oh, oh can we see? I'll oh, see. I don't know. Am I am I doing am I the only one seeing it? Yeah, yeah. Some some yeah. months had no data subscribed. Sorry? Uh in some months, like in July, first of July, if you look at uh row 158, yeah, no data was subscribed at all. Okay. So that's zero zero. If you look okay. at that column D, okay, you see zero zero. So they didn't subscribe for, to any data. So definitely they didn't get any bonus. You know, okay. so... No, I'm, I'm saying that we have 18 occurrences, you know? Yeah, because you had zero. You had months where no data was subscribed that, that was counted. You get I, it? I, I, I'm referring to... Okay. Oh, uh, we have first of July here. Yeah, we also have first of July again here. Yes, and we have uh, that is occurring two times. It's okay, I think July times. is occurring three times. Three times. Uh, if you look at 160, 168, row 168, okay. you have first of July again, R row 168. Yes. You have 1st of July. Row 165, you have 1st of July. Row 158, you have 1st of July. Okay. That means on uh, December 2, we have it occurring more than once, Abby. Yeah. Let's look at here. Look at September here. Yes. For a customer, for an account, it's occurring three times. First of September, first of mm. September, first of September. That means he purchased data. He subscribed for that three times in that month. In, on that same, you no, know, this is month and year now. Yeah. I, I don't know. Do you all get? Oh, 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 do you all get it? I don't know. Do yes, uh, get, Sagide, Yes. I I think you should further analyze down to. Using um, the date and not the account number at this time. Since no, you I'm using the date too. Yes, because like you said, yes. some transactions occurred twice or three times in a month. Not even in the month, in the day of the month, in the, on the, the first day of the month, yes. All transactions here occur on the first day of, of, the, of those months, if you all notice. But again, if you are looking at it, yeah, given the uh, uh, what's it called requirements, mm. you look at the data subscribed mm. and the data bonus, you mm. see that they are zero zero. Yes, that so that you means could, you could you could you could conclude that there was no transaction. Yes, no Only transaction on that day. On this, you know, maybe on this first first of September, maybe initiated. Maybe do you, do you know this first of September, right? The for this same account, you know, probably, you know, you are looking at what is happening here now. Probably there's there's an attempt to buy data, you know. Sorry, Mr. Sorry, Sorry, can I you okay. And my observation. Okay. I think for the period of six months. Yeah. Um, this account number mm. transacted three times in a day. Like for July, if you look at it, we have a team. Yeah. For each month, it was three times occurrence for each yeah. month. That's yeah. my observation. For six months, right? Yeah. That means occurring three times for each of those six months, right? Right. I I I, I agree with you, you know? And I also agree with what uh, Mr. Musa said too. 
You know, we are all saying the same thing. There are multiple trans, there are multiple transactions for each of those three six months. So that means for here, that means here, the data board here, you know, for we are looking at September, for instance, now for this same account, for instance, you know, it, there are three transactions for subscription. There are three sub transactions for data bonus giving. And there are also three transactions for bonus used, right? So that means in one way, since we are analyzing for six months, we cannot think, okay, why don't we, we can as well merge these three together, you know, to form one transaction for that month. Because since our analysis says here that how many times, you know, did that person did that person purchase data every month? That means we are concerned with okay, if there is an actual data purchase for a particular month, you know, so either he purchased once or twice or thrice, that individual had already purchased data, you know, so and that person had already made the requirement for that month as regards data purchase. That means we can as well just merge at the transactions here together, you know, give it a value, you know, add this together to a single value, add this together to a single value, and name it 1st of September 2019. Is that logical? Can I ask yeah. you, sir? Please yeah, go I, I think okay. the requirement is not asking the number of times the data was purchased. It's only okay, concerned let's... about the period. So even if even if the uh, that account number had bought fifteen times in a month uh, within that six months, sorry, please. You said if it has what? It's, 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 if you look at if you look at the requirement, they say yes. purchase purchase data every month. Yeah. So there's no there's no criteria as to how many times it purchased data, regardless of the number of times. But it's within the space of six months. Yes, that means we we are, we are not concerned about. How, how many times that person purchased data mm -hmm. in a particular month, right? Yes. Whether it's once or twice or thrice, the mm -hmm. important thing is that has that person purchased data or not for a particular month? Within the given period. which is Exactly. Different. Exactly. So that means to help our analysis, so to, to, to streamline it, to make it easy for us, you know? So since our, our focus is, is the month in view, like for this highlighted one, the month in view is September. So if the month is view is September, if you want to check, okay, did this person purchase data for September? The answer is yes, because at a particular point, at a particular time in the month of September 2019, that person has already purchased data. So what is the volume of data purchased? So I think we can as well just add the data subscribed volume, the number, into one and use that as the data purchased for that month. I don't know, am I am I making sense? Yes, I agree with you. Okay. So yeah, that, so I agree with I agree with you, but how do you now that means we're gonna have another table that will merge um each transaction for each month together. That is we we have no choice. You know that okay. that is data transformation. Okay. You know that is what we have to do. There, there's a challenge. We have to look for a way to solve it, because we first need to analyze. This is what we need to do. You know, once we know what we have to do, then the next thing is to look for how do we do it. But okay. we, we all we all need to agree for that. Is that the logical thing to do? Yeah, it, it makes sense, yeah. It does. So that means if we do that, if we do that, we are going to have a single transaction for this month because, of course, it's the same city, the same account number, the same customer type. So why have it in three places? You know, since we can as well add this, this, I mean, this is the total number of, this is the total data subscribed for the month, data total used for the month, and data, sorry, bonus given for the month, and bonus used for the month. That means we can just merge that, that into one. That means even for months, that means we can do that for every month that has more than, let's look at another one now. For every month 
let's look at one that has maybe seven, for instance. Let's say eight. One has eight transactions. Why eight? She could to make pebble. Why Sorry, Mr. Gide. Please go ahead. Rather than further creating um, another column and uh, merging them, mm -hmm. uh, like we have agreed that we are not concerned about the number of transactions. I'm um, sorry, mm -hmm. the number of transactions. Mm -hmm. It's just the period. Mm -hmm. Now we've gotten, we know how many transactions occurred. Mm -hmm. And the requirement is within six months. Mm -hmm. So we can just go ahead and say, like if you are creating conditional uh, column mm -hmm. to say, if you have done, if you have purchased data more than six times in the month, you just group them. If you have purchased data more than six times, which is more than six times, yes, you can group them. You know what you have said, you know, it's, it's just you know, it's you've made a, the correct statement, but how do you implement that? You know, if you go to now, if you go to you know, we move to. We we'll move to Power Query now. Uh, we we'll just spend like three minutes, uh, you know, you know that that's how it takes. You know that I think the you know the this is the most important stage of the whole process. You know, analyzing what to do, because once we know what what to do, ah, system is slow. Once we know what to do, you no, know, it's easy for us to really you know forge ahead. Then just to just to filter down to. It now it's taking eternity. Do I have to close some? Which one is this? F Microsoft Power BI Enterprise. I don't know what this is. Let me end this process. End task. Okay. Huh? My goodness. Which is the initial? Yes. Now let's see. Do so that has it. You know, this for instance. For instance, this month, this guy has it. This is Abuja. There's one for first of November. December, October, August, July. Cancel. Thank you. This, you can see that November is repeated twice. You know, sorry, November, yes, twice. While others occur just, just once. You know? So, but me, I, I believe we are, we are not going to create an additional column. Like oh, Mr. Dami's thoughts, you know, we are not creating additional column. We are merging. In fact, we are even going to reduce the number of columns at the end. At the end of the day, it seems so. We are not going to have, you know, we are not going to have as many columns as we have now. By the time we transform this, let's. Let, if that's the only thing we we'll do tonight, let's do it. Then we'll move on from it tomorrow. Let's see how that works. Since we have agreed that, uh, so have you agreed that it's it makes logical sense if we can merge the transaction or not occurring multiple times in the month to just one transaction. Now, if you've all agreed to that, then let's just bring in the data set and see how that looks like when we do it, you know? Because I, I feel that is what is logical to do, you know? So, but, you know, we, we can always backtrack if we think we are not going in the right direction. So telecoms data. Okay, this is the consum consumer transaction transform data. So I'm creating an entirely new query for this. I'm not continuing with the one we were uh, using previously. So we yeah, we have it here now. Now, this is what we have now. So having analyzed it in Excel, I think we can so now who does a tool here? I know it's one of the things we've talked about that we can use to summarize data. Now we want to summarize it because we want to do for a summary, because that's the word. We want to summarize this. You no, know? we have three. This occurring two times, you know. You want to summarize it and make it one. You know, you want to summarize it and make it one. So let, let, let me help us. One of the tools we've used is called group by. Just like you doing pivot table. You know, we used, we've talked about the group by tool. We want to group this 
you know, we want to group all these things, you know, by its condition. This is what that means. Now, we have our, let, I will select primary city. We need the primary city. Very important. We need, I'm holding my control key. We need the account number. We need the customer type. It's very important. Data subscribed. No, we want, let's leave data subscribed now, for now. Bonus, data bonus given. I don't think we need it in analysis. We only need, oh, we only need the amount of data the, the person subscribed. The, the, the count of how many times that person subscribed data. So this is okay. We don't have any need for the data bonus we are giving. I don't think we are not counting that. So we, are, we might not need this column at the end of the day. Bonus used, yes. We need to count the bonus used. How many times the individual used bonus in a given month? This is important. And we need this year, a month. Did I do anything now? Change. I thought I, thought I just held this down now. I don't know what happened, but I'll just do it again. So I'll select this, hold control, select this, select this. Let, let's leave these values for now. Year, month. We've selected these ones now, these four columns, I think. Now, I'm not going to select. Okay, let me just go to group by then. Maybe you understand what I mean. Now, we want to transform this data. We want to transform this data now. We are transforming this some columns. We are transforming the selected columns and some columns I'm going to select again. This is what happens. Group by. Now, what we first see are the list, you know, we first see the list of the columns I selected. I selected the primary city, the account number, the customer type, and the year and month because I want them in my table. These are, these are the things I want to appear in my table again. This table is going to be transformed now into something new. And I'm going to select the columns I want to be present in my new table. That's what Groobi does. So anything you select here, we appear in the new table. And anything you don't select here, we not appear in the new table. So let's understand how Groobi works. Now, what am I grouping? What am I summarizing? What do I want to add? I want to go, go and check the, this means go and check the primary city, check the account number, check the customer name, check the year month. You know, then do something. Some, for each primary city, let me go over, for each primary city, for each, for a unique, let me use unique now. For a unique primary city, like, for instance, Abuja, if it is Abuja and a unique account number, a unique customer, a unique year and month, you know, look for somewhat, okay, new common, co new column name. What is the new column name I want to give what I want to summarize by. I want to do for sub. That means sub subscription. The subscription, let me call it data sub. Now, I want to add the data subs now. Don't forget, once we said, we want to add the data subs that are occurring multiple times. And I want to give that, it's going to form a new column because I'm adding them together. You say, okay, when you add them together, what column do you want to give it? give it a new column name. I'm, going, I'm giving it data subs. That means data subscribed. And what are you doing to all those data subscribed? Some them. Some them. And which column are they in? In the data subs. Data, data subscribe column. This is it. Go to data subscribe column for each primary state, for, for each of the primary city, for each account number, for each customer name, for each year month. Give it a new name, data subscribe, data subs, add it, add data subscribe. Remember again, I want to summarize something again. I want to add together reoccurring bonus used again. So I will name it bonus used. What should you do? Sum it together. Which column do you want to sum? We want to sum the bonus used. Those are the two columns we are concerned about. The bonus used and the data subscribed. So it's going to... Sorry? Zajide, Zajide, please. 
as you are, as you are talking about the colon, can you please be referring to Excel so that we can picture exactly what you are talking about? Because in that room, <laughs> okay, okay. This is what I'm trying to do. Let yeah. me let me explain now. For this now, you know, I'm saying that for Abuja, this primary city now, you know, what we do, what this for each, it will start from the beginning of the table, you know. It will look for a look, for, look at the primary city, you know. Assuming this is the beginning of the table, now I'm using this table as an I'm using I'm just going to use this short one as an as an instance. It's got it will go to Abuja. I said select primary city. Retain the account number in my new table. I see one the account number. It will pick this account number. And I said again, and I chose and I chose customer type and year month. So it will look for it will check. Let me go back here again. It will check the customer type. So you go to select this, select this, select that, and select this. I'm saying, so it's going to select Abuja, right? It's going to select 10038. It's going to select the customer type retailer. Retailer. Hmm? Don't forget, it's going to give it a name. Primary city. I'm going to shorten it. This account, this is the account number. Account number. Okay, let me let me make it control C. I, I don't just want to spend uh, too much time, you know, today. But if this is the only thing we uh, understand, I think it's better. Because group by can, can be tricky, you know. Account number, no. Abuja. One zero zero three eight. Now, the customer type. Control C. Control V. Customer type. And I said select what again? Year month. It's going to select this year month. Control C. Control V. Show Ronuni. Control C and Control V, fine. So for this first row, it will select this, select this, select that, and select that. And I gives and I did something here. This is what this one means. And I said, give me a new column called data subs and bonus used. So it's going to create a new column called data subs, data subs, data subs. And ah, uh, system me, God have mercy. Call and um, bonus used. Bonus used. So these two new columns will be created now. So that means I'm expecting how many columns in my new table? One, two, three, four, five, six. These are the two new columns. Then I'm saying some what? Some the data subscribed column. So it will come here. For this now, it will check this month. For this, for this primary city, it will, it will go around and check any column that has this, 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 and this. These four must be unique. And where is it occurring here? It's occurring this four. Can you see? One, two, let me highlight it. This and this. This is occurring here as well. Can you see that this is unique? Sorry, not this. Not this. Sorry, I didn't intend to spend this time, but let's see. Can you see that this is unique? I just want an answer, yes or no. As a guard, primary city, yes. account number, customer type, and year month. Do you agree that it is unique? It is the same? Yes. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you agree, it is the same. It's going to check this. That's why these four things selected, these four things I selected here, these four columns, it will check wherever all those four columns are the same in that table. So once it sees that, what will it do? Add the data, add the data subscribed for those unique and add the bonus use. For 
data subscribe, it will add it and put it under this new column. So it will come here and look at data subscribe. Where is it? Data subscribe for this one is here. It will come here. Data subscribed, right? It's here. So it's going to add these two. So if you add these two, that is 757.05. So 757.05. So it's going to add, I said again, I told you to do what? I said, add the bonus used for wherever this is unique. I mean, they are identical. So it's, it's going to come to this table here again. Bonus used and bonus used. It's going to come here and add them. You know, that is 3.57. 3.57. So this is what it's going to do. It has summarized the data for this selection in yellow. That is group this selection in yellow by data subscribed and bonus used. But how do you group them together by adding them together? Is that is that clear? So wherever Very this clear. Selection, sorry? Very clear. Very clear. So so but wherever this selection is appearing just once, this first selection, one, two, three, four. Assuming it's just once is appearing, you know, it, you know that means it's just going to put it here once. There's you're just going to put the value because there's there's nothing to add to. Do you understand? You, I'm sure you don't understand that. Assuming this is no. appearing, okay, wherever it's appearing once, let me go to where it's appearing once. Let me choose six like this. Sorry, time is fast spent, but I, was, I just I just feel we should understand this stage before we proceed you know so what i mean is that you know here you know this is a summation of two values this and this you know do you understand do you know this we got this value by adding two values together yes hello yes yes it's because we have two values that are identical but if assuming we don't have a case where two values are identical Maybe I don't even need to go far. Look at this first of October now. You know, you know, it's only appearing once for this. If you pick this date, this city, this account number, this retail, and this year month, it's appearing just once, right? October 1st for yes. this account number. So yes. it's, just, it's just going to put this value 10036 here as data, sorry, 101.63. As data subscribed and 101.63 as sorry 322.39 322.39 as the data subscribed and 101.63 as the bonus used because October 1 retailer, this account number and this city is not repeated anywhere. Do you understand? Yes, yes okay, good. So that's, that's what we are we are trying to do. Remember that we did not choose this column. We did not choose data bonus given. So it's not going to appear in our new table. Anything you did not select here will not appear. Only these four columns and these new two columns will appear. So that is what we want to do. When we say, okay, it's going to create for us a new table entirely. Where you do group by, it's going to create a new table entirely. And this is the table we have. You know, now, like I said, it's not as if we have, no, our, our column has not increased. It has actually reduced. Now we have one, two, you can see, this is the account number. This is the primary city, account number, customer type, the year and month, the two new columns given. Now, if you go and check the, the ones I, I explained here now. Let me see if I can see where I did the summarization. Where I said 18. I've, I've chosen six. Okay. I want to first to confirm the calculations we did. You know, where it is 18. So that we confirm what I know it will take time for it to come again, but 
No, but once it comes, we check. So this is what now we have. Now we should have for each account now. It will only occur six times. No account will occur more than six times now. I mean, it will not span more than six times because we had already any account occurring three times in a month has been merged together as one account, as just one transaction. So that means if we check the account, oh, what's it called here? Not here. The is it here now? Oh, if you do a count, oh, we will check how many times you're calling. Mm, mm, trying to see how to count. It says we do a count, but I don't want to, but I don't want to do a count now. Oh, do, 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 let me see. Uh, no, not customer type. I'm not expecting. Hello, sir. My head is buzzing now. It's buzzing. It takes sorry. <laughs> oh, maybe we should continue. I think people have read their saturation. The saturation period. Oh, sorry. So, yeah. <laughs> I have you know. Maybe okay. we should just continue from there tomorrow. From here tomorrow. But I think it's good for us to practice this thing, really. That's what I think. So when we practice and we you know, if we, if we just continue from here tomorrow, I will just go to another transformation step. And we need to understand the concepts behind this group by is a very very important transformation tool you know so i will share the we all, we all have the data set and uh, bro, mr Tolu will help us share the re recording so we can go over it and practice it and if you have any questions as regards group by so we can all look at it together tomorrow before we proceed on the next stage at least i hope we all, we all understand how we got here Do we? Yes, from yes. Me.